Teachers in Places. Our story begins with Professor Murray in the lab working on an experiment. Her colleague, Dr. Tope, enters and is very excited. Professor Murray, Professor Murray, you have to come and see. It's I've made my greatest invention ever, and it's so exciting. What? What is it? Well, it's it's a machine. I don't know what you could call it, but it's it's like um, I guess a transporter. You could get inside of it, and it shrinks, and you can go inside small things. Wow, you know I can't say no to that. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Wow, yeah. You what are, are we... brilliant. Thank you. What do you wh where should we go first? What do you think? How about a cell? That's awesome. Who cell? What about Mr. Harper's? Oh my gosh, that's too funny. That'd be awesome. Let's do it. Let's go find him. <laughs> okay, good. Let's go. There he is now. What is that? And well, floor it. Oh. What is that? Have we entered the cell yet, Professor? No, not yet. We're still outside the cell. Let's maneuver our transporter closer to the cell membrane or the outer covering of the cell so diffusion can take place. Okay, right. That's the process that allows many materials to enter the cell. Our ship should diffuse into the cell just fine. But wait, how can we go into the cell without popping it? Well, you see, the cell membrane, it's semi-permeable, which means it's not solid. It also means that the membrane decides what enters and what doesn't. There, we're in. Look at that, Professor. It's like we're swimming through watery jelly in here. Yes, cells are about 66% water. But it isn't just jelly water. This is the cytoplasm, where all the smaller parts of the cell are found. Look, there's a mitochondria. Whoa! Mitochondria take up energy that's found in the food that a person eats and packages it into molecules of ATP. ATP is the energy the cells use to perform their work. Sometimes the mitochondria are called the powerhouse of the cell because they make the energy. Let's go see if we can find the nucleus. Good idea. I want to see how the nucleus controls all the parts of the body. Maybe we can go inside and look at some chromosomes. Which way do you think it is? Let's go straight ahead. Since the nucleus is usually found somewhere near the center of the cell. We're entangled in the endoplasmic reticulum. Reverse, reverse. We hit something. I hope the hull of our ship hasn't been compromised. It would be hard to make repairs with cytoplasm oozing in. Is it possible to drown in jelly water? We've hit some ribosomes. This must be the endoplasmic reticulum, but the rough endoplasmic reticulum. When ribosomes stick to the ER, it's rough endoplasmic reticulum. When no ribosomes are present, you have smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Ribosomes <laughs> produce protein. There sure are a lot of ribosomes out there, but then again, I guess the body needs a lot of proteins. Muscles, enzymes, organs, skin, they're all made of protein. I think I see a way out. There's some smooth endoplasmic reticulum over there. Let's go for it. Okay. Phew, that was a close call. We could have been trapped in that network of membranes forever. Look, a Golgi body. Watch how this organelle takes the proteins that are made in the endoplasmic reticulum, takes them in, repackages them, and then ships them back out. Do you see that mountain over there in the distance on the starboard side, Professor? Hmm. Let's get a little closer. I do believe that's the nucleus. Pretty massive. Yes. The nucleus is probably the most obvious organelle due to its large size. Inside the nucleus is the DNA. And see that coming out of the nuclear pore? It's the messenger RNA. Wow, I never thought I'd get to see live mRNA with my own eyes. Pretty gnarly. Hey, I saw some large empty bubbles back there. What's up with that? You most likely saw some vacuoles, but don't be fooled. They're probably filled with water, minerals, or sugars and or ions. We've got to get out of here. That lysosome, if it gets a hold of us, we're goners. How so? 
Lysosomes can swallow up things that aren't needed by the cell or things that don't belong in the cell and then digests them using chemical enzymes. That would be the end of us. Let's get out of here then. I'm with you. That was an awesome adventure. Although it did get a little scary with the lysosome there at the end, but. I was glad I used the 5.0 engine instead of the four. Absolutely. I had a feeling we might have to make some quick getaways. Well, at least we got to see the majority of the cell. The only ones we were really missing was the cytoskeleton, the vesicles, and the centrioles, but we'll catch them next time. Yeah, I was thinking next time we can go see a plant cell. I've never seen a cell wall, and I was thinking um, chloroplasts are really incredible too. That would be awesome. That sounds like a plan. So when you and that concludes our adventure through a cell with Professor Murray and Dr. Tope. So until next time, that's all for Teachers in Place. Is.